Midlife Crustacean is Spongebob's most controversial episode. It was released in 2003 and banned almost 15 years later in 2018 with no real solid reason why. So I'm going to figure out why. But we have to start from the very beginning. The episode starts with Mr. Krabs as our protagonist, which I think is pretty cool. Most episodes focus on Spongebob and his life. And for once, we can finally get some lore about Mr. Krabs. So Mr. Krabs wakes up and there's a song playing. Old, old man, you're cracking everywhere old it seems like a goofy funny song but it's actually symbolizing exactly how mr krabs is feeling in this exact moment without him having to say any words at all we even get these two beautiful close-ups of mr krabs which he looks he looks great we then get verbal confirmation of this when mr krabs asks pearl if she thinks he's getting old which of course she says yes i mean look at this dude honestly though she isn't mean about it well all dads are old but even though pearl said this he keeps his head high and believes he is still young cool and pimp this is kind of the start of his midlife crisis or midlife crustacean he's acting all positive old what was i thinking and then he looks down as a boy scout is escorting him don't worry pops we're almost across the street this still isn't enough and mr crab stays positive that he's definitely not old he keeps walking and then the bluefish herald starts riding his bumper yelling at him for going too slow which doesn't make much sense since there's a lot of space to walk around but anyways this one kind of gets to him he gets a little frowny face but he's still staying positive so he keeps walking and this ball rolls over to him and mr crabs asks if he can join the kids in playing ball and i mean they obviously say no which is the final straw to his positivity he keeps walking but now he looks really depressed and i guess he's just been staring at the floor and not paying attention because he ends up walking towards a cemetery and he starts freaking out about death but he finally falls off the rails straight into his midlife crustacean but all hope is not lost for mr krabs to feel young again while mr krabs steals a crabby patty from a little boy he overhears spongebob and patrick raving on about their big night out and mr krabs seeking one last experience of being a kid asks spongebob if he can join on the big night out but the only way to join is to know the top secret cool young pimp handshake this gets mr krabs nervous what's, what's he gonna do the curl handshake the pinky thumb switcheroo handshake mr krabs has to get this right and well he does because it was just a simple old handshake so mr krabs game plan for conquering a midlife crisis is to relive his glory days now i did some research on a midlife crisis to see if this would theoretically be a smart choice and i'd hate to say i use chat gpt but searching for this exact problem was difficult and so what it's 2024 so i typed is doing things you used to do as a kid a good way to resolve a midlife crisis and chat gpt actually agreed that this is a good way to solve your midlife crisis it said it can deliver nostalgia and happiness stress reduction self discovery, perspective, physical activity, and social connections. So Mr. Krabs theoretically should be on his way to cure his midlife crisis. They start off the night hot. They get on this two-person bike and put Mr. Krabs in a wagon, which is so cool. They arrive at the wash, which Mr. Krabs thinks is a club. And honestly, this could be a club name maybe but it's actually exactly what the name states they came to a laundromat mr krabs is obviously so confused and we see the first activity they do for fun watching clothes spin that's what i'm talking about oh yeah mr krabs isn't feeling it though he says he wants to do something that gives him this wild crazy hot blooded feeling if you know what he means this is the start of the adult jokes used in this episode for most kids this will fly over your head but the way mr krabs says this he either wants to go skydiving or he wants to do you know what I, I mean, anyway, Spongebob supposedly knows what he's feeling and takes him to do the next fun activity, trash picking. And he's not feeling that feeling yet. So they take him to the kiddie pool and Patrick pees on him. And we hear the most iconic line, are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Which by the way, if you have a dirty mind, sounds pretty sexual. I don't think this line was meant to sound this way, but it definitely comes across this way. And a lot of people use it this way when retelling the joke. Anyways, he's not feeling it on the clam ride at the dentist, building a roof, playing dungeon and dragons at the library and at the kid arcade he has this weird ring around a rosy clown hat and this one this one breaks him he gets extremely mad and just flings all the kids across the room which could also be a reason this episode is very controversial i mean it's kind of child abuse and then he goes on his rampage and starts roasting spongebob and patrick you guys ain't cool you're lame lame you nerds geeks 
scrapes and babies. He starts heading home until Patrick tells Mr. Krabs about the petty raid. And Mr. Krabs is completely on board. This also pretty much confirming that the wild, crazy, hot-blooded feeling was probably related to girls and not the skydiving. They set up their ladder and sneak into the window of this house. They sneak around and Mr. Krabs opens the drawer and hit the jackpot, pulling out these purple yellow polka dot undies and finally, after a whole entire day of trying, Mr. Krabs finally feels young again. He is now feeling it. But then, to ruin his victory, Mr. Krabs' mom turns on the light. Yeah, Mr. Krabs just panty raided his mom's underwear drawer. And so he gets grounded and sent to his room. And believe it or not, it's not as bad as it seems. Mr. Krabs feels as young as can be. He got scolded and grounded by his mom and now gets to sleep in his childhood room. And it seems his midlife crisis is gone. But wait, I also want to bring up this one thing that's very suspicious. When Mr. Krabs got caught by his mom, he asked SpongeBob and Patrick why they didn't tell him that this was his mom's house. And they say, you didn't ask meaning SpongeBob and Patrick actually knew this was his mom's house. So why did they take him here? Well, let's rewind a little bit. So Mr. Krabs starts roasting them, calling them extremely rude names. And then Patrick suggests the idea of panty raids only after that. This believes me to think Patrick wanted to get revenge on Mr. Krabs for calling him these names. So he suggested the panty raid, knowing exactly where to take him. But this doesn't explain when SpongeBob tells Mr. Krabs they score all all the time at this house. This honestly makes me see these characters so differently. This could be another reason this episode got banned. SpongeBob and Patrick are known for being pure and innocent, and this kind of ruins their image a little bit. That's not something you can really risk when dealing with such an iconic, beloved character. Something I also find interesting about this episode is the activity SpongeBob does with Mr. Krabs. There's no doubt in my mind SpongeBob really wanted to impress Mr. Krabs, and a lot of these activities seem planned. I would imagine a best night out for SpongeBob and Patrick would probably just be like goofy goofy goobers or like late night jellyfishing, but they decide to go to the laundromat, which seems like some weird thing they might do, but I don't think so. The laundromat is kind of an adult place, and I think Spongebob felt taking Mr. Krabs to some adult places would make him happy, which is kind of thoughtful when you think about it. I mean, Spongebob had no idea of his midlife crisis. You can even see the decline of adult to kid stuff as they start with the laundromat and trash picking and end with a literal kid place. This also makes a scene where Mr. Krabs roasts them a lot more sad. You realize how hard SpongeBob and Patrick were trying to cheer him up, doing things they probably didn't even want to do on a night that was supposed to be just them, and they were really excited for it too. It's kind of sweet, and in the end, they did help. So I guess they did a good job. But besides my overthinking, the episode stayed running until 2018, when a Nickelodeon representative deemed the episode inappropriate for young children. Many fans speculate that it was being deemed inappropriate solely for the purpose of the panty raid. And honestly, yes, the scene did most of the damage, but I think the entire episode was a big risk from start to finish, showing child abuse, many adult jokes, but yeah, the panty raid was definitely the main reason. But why 15 years later did this episode just get pulled? I mean, it was greenlit to be aired, so why suddenly just take it off? Well, like I said earlier, SpongeBob is this iconic character that kids look up to, and according to many articles, the content children consume can influence their actions. I think this episode made SpongeBob and Patrick look bad, as well as having probably a bunch of angry parents who send a lot of hate to Nickelodeon. Here's how I imagine the email would look. I can't believe you think it's okay to show our kids that it's okay to break into a house and steal a girl's underwear. This is not only illegal, but extremely inappropriate. I cannot believe this. My son will never watch SpongeBob again. This is unacceptable. And honestly, as much as I love this episode, it would be hard to fight this argument. And I might get hate just saying that. And that's exactly why this episode is so controversial. The argument between between inappropriate or not is a huge debate online. But besides that, another reason it probably got banned is because cancel culture started thriving. And an episode that kind of objectifies girls had to scare Nickelodeon very bad. So they probably didn't want to have an episode with that kind of risk and just took it down. Simple as that. There's truthfully an infinite number of things that could have happened in Nickelodeon to come to this final decision, but this is just what I think. Speaking of decisions, I found this Reddit post posted three years ago where someone put a poll on if this episode being banned was fair or not. And it only has 100 votes, but majority said no. And honestly, every single comment on this thread is furious that the episode was banned. I don't really understand why it did. The pain rate is just something harmless to me. The whole joke is that they're raiding the underwear of Mr. Krabs' mom. They weren't really hurting any random town's fish. I think it is absolute bull. But these people would be happy to know that out of nowhere in 2023, the episode was unbanned. And you can now watch it on Paramount+. Plus according to this article. There was no solid reason why this episode came back on streaming services, but I can assume it came back because no matter if they banned the episode or not, this episode was one of the most popular 
and no one's ever going to forget it. And also a lot of people can just find it easily online. And with people knowing and being able to still access this video, SpongeBob still lives on. So they probably came to the conclusion they're losing money. And also like you saw before, people are mad the episode was gone. So now they can experience it again and they can make money. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just overthinking and watching TV.